Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, December 18, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-Mini Futures. And you're going to see the futures are just continuing from their rally yesterday. Right now, futures are trading up 22 and 3 quarter points. Now, tomorrow will be contract rollover because it will be options expiration. So we're going to have to switch over the futures to the H contract tomorrow but you can still trade the uh the z contract today which is the month of december and right now the december contract trading higher by 22 and a half points just a tremendous move yesterday you had that huge rally after the federal reserve markets soared and roared and they're continuing their gains today so all in all the markets have really had uh i'm gonna say somewhat of a 50 50 point swing in the s p 500 um, maybe even a little bit more than that. So, again, it's just been a tremendous, tremendous uh, rebound, tremendous bounce yesterday and today. And if you were a member of In The Money Stocks, you knew all about that rebound coming. So, again, uh, take a seven-day free trial to our research center. Get all of our nightly setups. Get all of our cycle work. You'll get all of our trades. Or come on over to the intra intraday stock chat where you'll get all of our intraday action. And you'll also get a lot of our cycle work. So, again, um, tremendous move by the markets. Markets are really soaring and roaring again here today. Now, uh, looks like there was some economic news out, uh, but there's a bunch of different things out today. So it really doesn't matter. All that matters is what is the market doing? Where is the market going? But last night in Asia, uh, you did have a, a pretty big rally in the Nikkei 225. You also had the Hang Seng up. The Shanghai was basically flat in Europe this morning. You have the German DAX up 2%. You have the French CAC 40 up 2.7%. Uh, the Milan market, which is the FTSE MIB, which is Italy, up 1.73%. And Spain is up, the IBEX 35, up about 2.3%. So all in all, a big rally there. London FTSE 100 is up 1.2%. Pretty decent move there as well. Um, we did have U.S. jobless claims. They fell 6,000 to 289,000 jobless claims. That number <clears throat> continues to get a little bit better. Not that we really care or believe it, but that is the case. You also had something very strange happen overnight. It looks like, um, well, all in all, it looks like the Swiss franc um, fell to its lowest level against the dollar. And it looks like the Swiss National Bank had to introduce negative interest rates. So um, something that we've seen before in Europe, and it looks like it's happening in Switzerland. So um, pretty interesting stuff there. We'll see how that shakes out and plays out right now. No ill effects at all. So again, markets are riding high, and we'll see where they go. Let's look at some stocks in the news. First one I'm going to start off with is Oracle. It looks like Oracle today uh, or last night, or uh, I believe had some earnings reports. Uh, right now, Oracle is trading at $43.47. Uh, the stock closed yesterday at $41.16. So we're going to give Oracle the upside bias to around 44 and a half, 44 and a quarter. Right around there is where the stock should stall out. But a pretty good pop-up for Oracle this morning. So again, give it the upside bias. If you own it, start to trail the stop. If you don't own it, do not look to buy it here. Let's take a look at Steel Dynamics, STLD. I did not see the news on this one. Um, stock is trading at $20, right around $20.25. There's no real volume here. It's up a little bit from yesterday's close. So I'd still be a little bit cautious with this one. But I do see a very good support level around $18.50 for Steel Dynamics if it does trade down there. Let's take a look at Amgen, A-M-G-N. I believe they upped their dividend. Stock right now is trading at $166 a share. Um, that's a decent pop. Closed at $163.50. Uh, this one now, from what I can see, still has upside to go. So Amgen looks pretty strong at the moment. Double top is not until you get to around 172. So you got to give it a slight upside bias. It is a little bit stretched here, but nonetheless, stock still looks strong on the charts. Let's take a look at Herman Miller. MLHR is the ticker symbol. Stock is getting hammered, closed at $31.10. I'm not seeing support in this stock till around... 28.75. So be a little bit careful with Herman Miller. It's on the thinner side, meaning rarely does it trade a million shares a day. But I don't see support on this equity till it gets to around uh, $28.75. That's where you'll see a little bit of support for this equity. There'll also be some more support later at 28. Um, if you're aggressive, both levels could be played for bounces. But again, remember it's on the thinner side, comes with more higher risk. 
Let's take a look at Jable Circuits. JBL is the ticker symbol. Stock is trading at 2110, closed at $20.07. That's a good little move for Jable Circuits. I'm showing a ton of resistance at $22. I don't know if it will trade up there, but we're going to give it a slight upside bias today. Um, right now, the stock's holding up pretty well. Let's take a look at Hertz Rent a Car. It looks like Carl Icahn up to stake in HTZ. Stock is trading at $22.10. It closed at $21.31 yesterday. So this is a pretty good little pop. Uh, we'll give we'll give uh, Hertz a little upside bias here. Um, simply, if it can, it really needs to close above the 2220 level. So if it could stay above 2220, right now it's at 2210. Then it has potential upside to go uh, in the coming days, possibly in a week or so. Let's look at Dunkin' Donuts, D-N-K-N, I believe it is. <clears throat> Stock is getting hammered, closed at $46.22 yesterday. It looks like they lowered guidance. It is trading at 4301 I will have gap levels for Dunkin' Donuts this morning in the chat room. So, again, come on over to the chat room, take a seven-day free trial. We'll look at that one, and... Uh, We'll see what we can find, but I already have levels worked out for Dunkin' Brands or Dunkin' Donuts. Either way, a uh, little bit later. Now, a strange day. You do have gold trading up about $12 today to twelve oh six fifty an ounce. So that's a decent pop on gold. And uh, if you take a look here, you'll see the GLD trading at one fifteen eighty five. It's still in a tight range, a sideways range, so I don't know if there's a lot we would do with gold today, but the action is pretty solid so far this morning. Also, if you look at the GDX, which is the gold miner, gold mining stocks, they had a really, really good session yesterday after the Fed announcement, and today they're, they're gaining a little bit more momentum. So uh, GDX looks pretty strong out of the gate today. Uh, if we take a look at um, crude oil, crude oil is trading up about a dollar to $57.77. That's definitely stabilizing markets as you're getting a lot of these energy stocks to catch bids. You're also getting a lot of beaten up sectors that are related to the energy loaning uh, energy sector like the J&K and things like that, high yield corporate bonds. Uh, they're also doing pretty well as uh, right now at this time. So again, um, higher price in oil or a slight higher price in oil definitely helping to stabilize the market. So we'll see where this market trades out. We'll have a lot more for you once the opening bell rings. But again, take a seven-day free trial uh, to the intraday stock chat or come on over to the research center. Again, you would catch this move off the bottoms. Uh, we caught this move perfectly. We calculated it. We were looking for a low in the market on December 15th. So with that said, everybody have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.